we go. So what do you reckon? Yeah, seems better. to say the least, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, just a bit. So my idea is to strip all this off, get it down to the shell, and I'd like to do sort of a reimagine with it. Yeah. Yeah? In the 1960s, the Le Rochelle Furniture Company was one of the first in the UK to use fibreglass and injection moulding technology to produce a range of cutting-edge chair designs. The company, led by Herbert Wood, appealed to hip, younger customers and drew inspiration from the colour of the swinging 60s and the sculptural shape seen in Scandinavian design. Their pieces were such a hit that Le Rochelle won a prestigious contract to furnish the first class lounge on the QE2 Ocean Liner. Right then, Nick, what I want you to do is once this is all stripped back, yeah. there's a major problem in the bottom here. When you sit on it, yeah. you can feel the bolts and they just they come straight through. Oh, yeah, so on. if you can make me a mould nice. that would sit in there nice. that Craig can upholster around. So when you sit in it, it feels a lot more sumptuous, Brilliant. a lot more yeah, comfortable. Yeah. yeah. And then you go in with your foam that and put something over the top. Yeah. And anything, any other shaping. Yeah. I'm sorting out of this side. If you can do all that as well. Yeah. You can see the fibres are coming off, so that needs sealing as well. Okay. I'd like to do it in a like a hound's tooth or dog's tooth check. Yeah. Black and white. Yeah, a real yeah. classic one. Yeah, yeah. Not a tiny one either. A little bit more sort of seventies, like nice. insert in the old nine yeah. eleven. Yeah. Be cool. Yeah, it'd be cool. Yeah. yeah. What I want to end up with is something that's a little bit more contemporary. Yeah. It's not too mad. I want it to still look quite classy and stylish. That sort of look that I'm yeah. after. Yeah. Well, if we make a one-off piece. I think the lads are quite keen to get stuck into the Laura Shell chair. I think they'll have some fun. And I like to bring things in that just test them every now and again, but also let them do their own thing. Don't be so strict. Just say, that's roughly what I want. Have a go. Right then, so I can, uh, can I leave you guys to it? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Marvellous. Right. Okay. Cheers. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Look forward to seeing what's what. Okay. Thank Cheers. You. As you can see, basically, there's, there's a big flat sort of dint here. And it's got a nice rounded edge here. And for some reason, it's also on the other side. So there is obviously a discrepancy in the mould. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a little bit of car body filler just to, to round this off on the edge here. Get a nice big lump. The car body filler is combined with a black resin dye. That's pretty much the right consistency and colour. Before a setting agent is mixed in, Right, and I'm just going to basically just put it on to this big dint area, and I'm going to just follow the contours of the original. Well, the great thing with this stuff is it's very, very, very easily sandable, you know, and that is literally just taking that curve in. Now you can see that's just following that curve. I just think that looks and feels much better. Once set, the filler is sanded down to give the arms their curve back. Nick's next job is to coat the inside of the shell in a thick resin gel to protect the fiberglass from wear and tear. You can see it's quite thick and gloopy. It's basically for the outer surface of any sculpture that's in resin. Get it all on, nice and thick. I find this really quite satisfying because as you put it on, it sort of just evens itself out like a silk. You know, and it gives it that nice sort of, sort, you know, satin finish. So today I'm making a silicon cushion, a rubber silicon cushion that will lie flat over the top of the bolts, protecting the rear side of people and just being an extra bit of comfort for the pillows to go on top, and hopefully Craig will like the idea. So, I'm gonna make a mix, a silicon mix. Um, I'm using quite a thin silicon. It's basically what the silicon I use for pore molding. It gets into every nook and cranny, and it'll level quite easily and quite quickly. An organic black powdered dye is added to the silicone mix to match the color of the back of the chair. I'm just going to pour from a distance. Pouring slowly from a height helps the silicone form an equal layer and avoids the formation of large air bubbles. Oh, 
I'm really happy with that. The consistency, uh, the colour, it's all great, and it's at the right level. It's going off nicely, but it's going to take a couple of hours, so I'm going to leave that to set. It should be ready for Craig to peel off, to have a look under and see how it works, um, and he'll be ready for it. Hopefully, he'll like it. These are the fabrics I'm using on this chair. These are Harris tweeds, so they're pure wool. They're really nice to work with. Drew wanted dog tooth with a black piece coming up to give it the sort of car look, but I'm, I'm just going to play this by ear and see how it goes. I've got it in my head how I, how I think it's going to look. Drew's idea to use a bold dog tooth fabric is a nod to the Pepita houndstooth pattern used on Porsche 911 seats in the 1960s. So what I'm doing with this is starting in the middle and I'm working out. But to fit the covers to the chair, Craig needs to master Lura Shell's unusual hook system. These are the little hooks, and these are quite peculiar to Lura Shell themselves. If you actually look how these work, that's where the tape's going to go in that bit. Now, these hooks, one faces one way and one faces the other way. So what I'm going to do with these now, just feed that through there, and that's the hook in. So I'll do that on all the rest of them. The clips need to be positioned perfectly to ensure the fabric is pulled tightly around the chair's curves. So now... I offer it up to the wire, press down, then turn it like you would turn a key, but it only turns in one direction. When you've turned it, pull up, and then it hooks onto the wire. Once all five are on, I can pull the fabric and just see if it's right. There we go. Now the hooks are on there. This pulls over. And you can see there it's starting to take shape. So what I need to do now is just work that fabric out onto the chair, and that's more or less the chair finished. And I'm pleased with it. I just hope Drew is. Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Oh, no way. That's cool. That's, that's great. Wow. Wow, it looks like a, a car seat. It is, yeah, it's that a, was it's the, the idea, yeah. Oh, right. yeah that's yeah. what it's meant to look like. Yeah. We wanted to trim it out like late 60s, early nice. 70s, sort of sports car look to it. It works. Yeah, it does, yeah. It, it yeah. works. When it's arrived, this 1960s classic was ready for the skip. Its foam padding was in tatters, the fiberglass shell badly worn, and it had no seat covers. Now it's been given a new lease of life. Nick's work has secured and protected the fiberglass shell so it'll survive for years to come. And Craig's upholstery has transformed it with more than a dash of style. It's superb. And did you enjoy doing it, Nick? I really enjoyed it because I just I, I love it as a piece of sculpture in its own right. You know, and just being able to just see it from a distance and try and get the angles right on this. Yeah. And just making it come back, you know, just so it's nice and strong. I mean, we paid, what, 180 quid. I think now, with a bit of luck, win behind us, mm -hmm. 850. Oh, wow. Nobody else has got anything like this. No. And if they did, they'd have to go and buy the chair and get someone to make it. I'm really, really pleased with the chair. I think it looks great. It sort of, it didn't have any quality to it at all prior. Now it has that, a slight air of that. And that's all right, that's good. That's, that sells it, quality always sells. The proof's in the pudding. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to have a sit then? Yes, please. Yeah, come on, my rubber is. <sighs> oh, it's actually Mr. genuinely really is nice. Is it? Yeah. What do you think, Mr Bond? Very nice. I like that. It's good. Oh. Super. Buzzing. Good. All glad, right, you chaps. glad you enjoyed that, then. I'll get somebody around to collect that. Yeah. And uh, on to the next one. Brilliant. Thank you. Okay. Excellent. See you Cheers, then. fellas. Cheers, Bond. Yeah, it's amazing. I'm really pleased Drew liked the chair. I try my best, and I always do everything to perfection. But there's always, always that doubt there. He's going to come in and go, could you have done it like that? But this one is coming, and he liked everything about it. <laughs> <laughs>